Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to write Hello World program in Apex programming language. Also, we have seen how to write classes and how to create objects for those classes. In this video, we will see different access modifiers in Apex programming language. So, in Apex, there are four access modifiers, private, protected, public and global. If you are familiar with C++ and Java programming language, there are three access specifiers, private, protected, public in C++ and Java. But in Apex, there is one more, that is global. In this video, we will see what is the use of all these access modifiers. So, basically, these access modifiers are used to put restrictions over the use of classes and variables and methods defined in that classes. For this access modifiers, accessibility level is like this. Private, protected, public and global. Now, see. Private has least accessibility level. After that, protected. Protected has comparatively more accessibility than private. Public has more accessibility compared to private and protected. And global has more accessibility compared to all these private, protected and public. So, better we will see some examples. So, look at this. So, here I have created one class A. There is one variable A underscore val. We have assigned value 3. Data type is integer one more method with name a underscore show now see we will run this code so see here we are creating object of class a then we are printing value of this a underscore val variable right here that we are doing so we are accessing this variable by object of class a and then also we are calling this method a underscore show right now we will run it here we are getting error variable is not visible right this variable is not visible why we are getting error like this because by default access modifier for this variable and this function is private though we have not mentioned there but by default it is private so in apex programming language if you are not mentioning any access modifier by default it is private now see suppose here we will mention private and here also we will mention now we will save it by control s ok got saved and there is no problem if there is any issue in this class so in this problems tab you can find that error statement now see so we have made it private right previously we have not mentioned anything right now we have mentioned private again we will see now see again same error we are getting right this is private so that's why it is not visible right now we will change it so we will make it public this method also will make it public now see we have saved it now see execute so see now there is no any error debug only and we got the result also so see this is the value of this variable and this output we got from the function see we have called this function this function a underscore show function so this function we have called and from that we got the second output right so see when it is private so you cannot access these variables and functions outside this class so see scope of this class is up to here only right so you cannot access this variable and function outside this class if it is private but if it is public so you can access outside the class right so we have seen two access modifier private and public now what about protected see protected is just similar to private see what i am saying protected is just similar to private that means you cannot access components that is variables and function outside the class if you are mentioning it as a protected so see what is the use of protected access modifier if any variable or any method if you are defining if you are mentioning it as protected you can access them in child classes or derived classes or subclasses we will see example for this look at this so this is class a now see in class b we are extending this class a now see what is the meaning of extends a so this is the concept of inheritance right so whatever the variables and function those are defined in this class suppose i want to use them in another class if we want to make it available to the another class so we can extend this class we can inherit this class 
into another class. This is the concept of inheritor. So see, here we are extending class A. For this, we are using keyword extends. By this, this variable and method, whatever the variables and methods are there in this class A, we can use it. Those will be available for this class. Now see, we are extending it, right? And here in B underscore show function, we are printing the value of A underscore val. Because see, by extending it, it should be available here. Now see, if it is private, so definitely it cannot be used outside the class, right? If it is protected, so we can use here in this class. We will run our code. Let us see. Now see, so instead of A, we will create object of B. And here, I am commenting this statement. And here, we will call B underscore show. Let us see. We will execute our code. Now see, we are getting one error. Dependent class is invalid and needs recompilation. Class B, non-virtual and non-abstract type cannot be extended. Now see, what is the meaning of this? See, here we are extending class A. In Apex language, whatever the class that you are extending, that should be abstract. We have to make this class as abstract. So see, we will make this class as abstract. Okay, again, we will save it. Okay. Now again, we will run our code. Okay. So see, no compilation error. And we got output also. Right. Value of a underscore val is equal to 3. Now see. So this is the use of protected access modifier. When it is protected, you can use it in child classes. If it is private, if it is private, then you cannot access it outside the class, not even child classes also. But if it is protected, you can use it in child classes. And if it is public, then there is no issue. Anywhere you can use it. Public components you can use anywhere. There is no issue with the public. Protected, you can use it in child classes only. And private, you can use within this class only. So, in this way, we have three access modifiers. Private, protected and public. Right? Now, see, there is one more access modifier in Apex programming language that is global. Now, what is the use of global? See, in Apex, we are creating org. Right? Suppose there is org1. Now, all the classes in this org1, they will be in one namespace. Right? Classes, those are public they cannot be accessed in other namespaces. You can access it within this org, but you cannot use it in another namespaces. Now see, suppose we have another org, suppose org2. So definitely these classes will be in another namespace, right? And these classes from the org1 will be in some different namespace, right? Any public class from this org1 or from this namespace cannot be used in class of org2 or another namespace. But if it is global, so it can be used in another namespace also. So that is the difference between public and global. Global classes, that is global components can be accessed in another namespaces. But public components can be used within that namespace only. And see, if any component is global, so how we can use it in another org or another namespace? So see, for that we have to take help of app exchange. So what is app exchange? You might be knowing Google Play Store. What is Google Play Store? So in our Android mobiles, we have Google Play Store. From there, we can download and install any app, right? In the same way, App Exchange is a marketplace in Salesforce. From this App Exchange in Salesforce, we can download any app. Now see, if you have created any class in this namespace or org1, and if you define it as a global, then you can put in a managed package. You can upload it. You can deploy it on App Exchange. And in all two, you can download it and you can use it. Or you can download that application and there you can use it. But if it is global, then only you can access it. But if it is public, then you cannot access. Right? So public components you can access within the namespace. But global you can access outside the namespace also in another namespace also. Right? In this way, we have four access modifiers in Apex programming language. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.